Everything ready, Curly? All systems go, Dennis. History's in the menace making. Hear that, Paul? You're about to be the first potato on the moon. Ready for liftoff, Nasha? Three, two... <laughs> A potato? The moon? What on earth were you thinking? An astro spud. I know. Genius. Oh, I'm going to be doing overtime on my overtime to pay this damages bill. Oh, perhaps you can help Paul write his best selling astro spud autobiography. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Pie Face. The Spud Space Program's gonna have to wait. Right now, we need a fundraising scheme to help Dad pay the bill. Oh, what about a pie stand? Yeah, last time we had a pie stand, you ate all the pies. Oh, yeah. A dog grooming service? No chance. They'd all want to look like Nasha, and he's a one-off. <laughs> huh? What's he up to? Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a car wash. Look. Walter can pull in two cars with a five-star car wash, so if we have 5,000 stars, we'll pull in... Uh, <laughs> two million cars! Are there two million cars in Beano Town? <laughs> <laughs> no time for counting, Curly! We've a menace car wash to set up! And 5,000. <laughs> Don't worry, Dennis. We'll just wait for the next dirty car. Oh, there must be more than two dirty cars in Beano Town. Oh. oh, it's just hit me. If you want to mess up cars, you can't beat a bird. That's right. Birds are born to mess up cars. Oh. So, we catch and train 5,000 birds. Or, faster, we just menace one up. Feathers away, Nasha. Nash, Nash. <laughs> it's like I'm watching a nature program. This pie face is the Menace 2000 Car Messer Up a Bird Bot. Oh, catchy. All we need now is ammo. Two buckets of mud, one bucket of cold baked beans, another bucket of mud, one bucket of sour cream, past best before date, another bucket of mud, 16 jars of horseradish in a bucket, two buckets of soggy porridge, 3,800 mils raspberry rocket drink, and mix thoroughly. <laughs> Come on, let's see how Curly's getting on with the GPS. Ooh. I've hooked up a GPS so it now has the ability of satellite guidance. And finalise the upgrade with state-of-the-art target recognition software. You're good to go, Dennis. <laughs> Time to rustle up some business. Oh, no. Precedes you, Dennis. Oh, he's right. They think we'll make their cars dirtier. Ah, uh, technically we have made their cars dirtier. Yes, but Walter's getting all the business. We earned that business, and we're gonna get it back. A first-class job, team. <laughs> I think you'll find this vehicle still dirty. <laughs> Up for Beano Town's fastest car wash. <laughs> Lower 
fluffy and poop free. Huh? Uh, well. <laughs> An adversary. This means war. Uh oh. Porridge, baked beans, and is that raspberry rocket drink? Either the local birds have radically altered their diet, or I smell a Dennis scam. Colonel, stop! That's a rare and endangered. Wooden beaked warbler! Uh, who, uh, who? <gasps> wooden beaked warbler? Over 60 years as Beano Town's number one bird watcher, and I've never heard of it. It must be rare. Pardon me, Colonel, but I do hope you're planning to take that menace right out of the sky. Don't be so absurd, of course not. That's a wooden beaked warbler, don't you know? A what? Exactly. I hadn't seen one before either. It's incredibly rare. Oh, no, I can't shoot it down. It could well be the last of its kind. Mm -hmm. I have to capture it. Ah! Uh, say, my boy, how would you like to be part of the ornithological coup of the century? Get it? Coup? No, it's a bird thing. Charlie, give me the controller. We're about to be rumbled. Uh, here. If my calculations are correct, this net will fly out, open up mid-flight, and capture the bird. Fire in the hole! Oh, my calculations may have been a bit off. Oh dear. I hope it wasn't the last of its kind. <laughs> Target recognition system just went bonkers. It now thinks people are targets. Uh oh! Uh -oh. <laughs> I will turn it off. Off? Dennis, when you asked for a swoop and poop with rapid fire, you didn't ask for an off button. Crash, uh -oh. crash. Well, 
Sausage Sausage is on the move. Operation Distract Nasher is go! <coughs> Nasher's going to love this! like the world's largest sausage, demands a big distraction. <laughs> My garden! What with that reprobate Nasher at large? Don't you worry, Walter. I told Dennis that if Nasher so much as touches that giant sausage, it's the kennels for good. Oh, excellent policing. Indeed. Fun but fair. <laughs> Good news! Oh, oh. <laughs> I did this to you. Um, Walter? <laughs> Sergeant Slipper, do something! <laughs> Sorry, never said anything about normal-sized sausages, <laughs> which are very, very tasty, I might add. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Walter. I couldn't have come up with a better distraction myself. Oh, Dennis! You won't get away with it! Oh! Whoa. Oh! <laughs> I was saying, you won't get away with the... Uh, mm. <laughs> yes? huh. Hey, Butch, I just spoke to Chomp. They're sending their chop man. I can't believe it. Chomp! The coordinated headquarters for official meat products are coming to judge my little old sausage. This little old sausage will put Beano Town on the map. Huh? Ah! <laughs> Who elbows me? <gasps> Is everything okay? No. There's a massive vibe! Yes, yes! Everything's fine! <laughs> oh, yes, that's... that's right! Everything is fine! I don't understand! Who could have gotten through the lasers? Wait a minute! This looks like an animal bite! Hmm... An agile animal with an insatiable appetite for sausages and the biggest jaws in Beano Town. But who? No, I've got nothing. Uh, it's Nasher, obviously. Wait a minute. I've got it. It's Nasher, of course. Ah, oh, give me strength. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get your fill last night, eh, Nasher? Huh? Yes? What are you doing? Nasher is under arrest for biting Butch's giant sausage. One bite? There's no way it was Nasher then. He would have eaten the whole thing. Good thing he didn't. That's a potentially record breaking sausage. Nash? Don't worry, Nasher. We'll have you out in no time. Meet me at the treehouse and bring your best mustache. What bite? No way that was Nasher. There'd be nothing left. Not to mention he was with me the whole night. Which can only mean one thing. <laughs> Nasher has an evil twin, like Paul. Oh, Nasher's been set up. And we're going to find out by who. Curly, how much do you know about the coordinated headquarters for official meat products? Ah, sorry, Mr. Man. We're not open to the public yet. C-H-O-M-P, Inspector. That's quite a sausage. at your service. <laughs> Step this way, gentlemen. We have some paperwork to fill in. Psst. Take a swab. <laughs> Time for upper
Operation Bog. But I went before we left home. That's big O G. Bust out, Nasha. Oh, phew. <laughs> And then, of course, there was that huge brat verse from Bavaria. Underpants. Scramble. Uh oh. Underpants. Oh, but I only got two pairs. Come on, Piper. Underpants. <laughs> Okay, Nasha, this is the scent of the record breaking sausage. Find the missing piece and we find the culprit. Mr. Mayor, sir, this gentleman says he's from Chomp. Hear about the record. Lucky us, eh? Two in one day. Uh-oh. Come back here, you! Uh-oh! Nasha! Unleash the please! Nice one, Nasha! Now, we flee! Hello, hello, Slipper! Yeah, uh, it's me! Nasha got away! Nasha! Uh, uh, Walter! Of course it's Walter! It's always Walter! Hmm. Dennis! I thought that mutt of yours was locked up! Stop right there, Dennis! <laughs> oh, well done, Sergeant Slipper! Seize the giant sausage biter and his rascal of an owner immediately! Hang on! How does he know about the sausage being bitten? Oh. Yes, Walter. How do you know? <laughs> well, I mean, I just put two and two together. Uh, giant sausage, <laughs> and Nasher on the loose. It's obvious. Run, Claudius. Huh? <laughs> hey, I just shampooed the carpet. Oh. <laughs> 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 Nice try, Walter. What? It's not inconceivable that he acted alone, is it? OK, fine. I may have helped a little. Sorry, Nasha. As for you, Claudius, you're off to the kennel for a night. But... but there is no kennel for cats in Beano Town. I know! Who <laughs> <laughs> bad girl is a good singer. You can drop the act now. Uh, huh? Yeah, good thing they sent you out from HQ to help with the measuring. Not sure how I would have handled this on my own. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ooh, just a few millimetres off. Sorry, folks. Record remains. Well, I want you the record. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Why? Why? Hang on. I'll give you a record. Got a stopwatch. Hello? <laughs> Unbelievable! We have a new giant sausage speed eating world record! <laughs> well done, Dennis! Your dog has put Beano Town on the map! <laughs> Oh, oh, that's disgusting. Mop boy, clean up on stage. Now that is not the pace of a 
the postman preparing to pull. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, I must draw your attention to Postal Delivery Service Article 49B, Subsection 12, which expressly states... <laughs> 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 Subscription to Magnet Monthly. What's Magnet Monthly? <sighs> the only periodical exclusively about the hows and whys of magnetism, obviously. It's fascinating. Right. There's even less of Efficient Pockets Weekly, Fractions Quarterly, Ant Admirer, and Collectible Placemats. Wow. Well, sir, I. I'm horrified. You shouldn't be inside reading boring magazines. You should be getting out and doing fun stuff. Nash is doing you a favour. A favour? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's got you out of the house. You're getting fresh air, exercise, and Nash is getting exercise too. <laughs> and now his collection is just one sample short. Oh, what collection? <gasps> Within 24 hours, the world record for the largest collection of samples from post office issue underpants, held since 1908 by an unusually fast and snappy fashion, will be claimed by one Nasha Menace! Nasha! Hmm. Well, as you've clearly no intention of curbing your pooch's postal impropriety, I'll have to take postal matters into my own hands. Eh? You're gonna be a postman? Nash, Nash. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Nasha. <laughs> Walters doesn't count. But come tomorrow's post, you'll be the new title holder. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> ah, don't want to miss the big moment, eh, Walter? Oh, absolutely not. Today is the debut of the future of post delivery. Say hello to the Postatron. Huh? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's a prototype. All the traits of a human postal worker combined with robot efficiency. I first read about it in Stamps and Envelopes News. I told the post office I knew just the place to test it out. Splendid. Porridge enthusiast. I've been looking forward to you, my friend. Post? We've not had post for months. Oh, Nasha. He's devastated. How can he bag the record for postal underpants samples when our robot postman doesn't wear pants? Could we put pants on it? It doesn't have legs. Could we put legs on it? Uh, oh. No! We've got to get rid of the robot postman. We've got to get a real postman back so Nasha can claim that record. <laughs> and this is how we're going to do it. Me and Nasha will drive it, and when Nasha barks into the microphone inside, it'll sound like a hundred dogs. <laughs> At the sound of a hundred Nashers, any postman would like it. And as the Postatron is programmed to behave just like a postman... You've built a robot dog? Obviously. It's the only way to scare off a robot postman. We don't want you scaring off the robot postman. I like getting post. Here's a postcard from Gran. She's stranded in the Congo and needs us to send cash. Six months ago. Oh, that's why we haven't heard from her. And the Postatron has also finally delivered all your school reports. You're grounded. You can help us sort through all this post. Here's a power bill. Final demand. Huh? <laughs> right, you're doubly grounded. You and Nasha. But first, find some candles. But, but what about Nasha's record? <laughs> Good luck, Pie Face. Thanks, Dennis. Dennis, inside now. You're grounded. And sorting post. Oh, you're our eyes, Curly. Keep us updated. <laughs> Hello? Is that the dog catcher? I need you to bring your largest knit. <laughs> Mini 
cherries. Oh, oh that tickles. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're coming with me. Uh, Dennis, we have a problem. <sighs> I have to go rescue Pie Face. He's been taken by the dog catcher. <sighs> Why does that sentence not surprise me? Dennis, you're not going anywhere till you finish sorting all that post. Ah, finished! What sort of sorting is that? It's all been sorted into a needs-to-be-sorted pile. See ya! Another wild dog! Hey, aren't you our old postman? Your new dog catcher now! I'm chasing dogs! Oh, oh, sweet revenge! Still, you must be miffed of robots doing your old job. That's the point. It's doing the job. Unlike me, it's fulfilling the postman's motto. Through rain or hail or snow, the post must get through. So, if the robot postman can't get through, they'll have to re-employ a proper postman. With pants! Yes, yes. Can I get out, please? Anyone? Surely the Postatron's prepared for rain, hail and snow, Dennis. Ah, it won't be expecting the menace variety, though. <laughs> Ready, menaces? Yes, Ready. Hail! <laughs> <laughs> There's a magazine called Magnet Monthly. I oh, know. Free magnet with every issue. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Is that Magnet Monthly? Not one issue of my subscription has arrived all year. So, can you send them again? All at once? Brilliant. My name? It's Walter. <laughs> I suppose you menaces hope once again to disrupt the march of technology. No, you win, Walter. We've tried and we can't stop the Postatron. Ha! I knew you wouldn't be able to get the better of its superior robot brain. And Nasha felt so bad about ruining your magazines, so we're making up for it. A whole year's worth of Magnet Monthly, complete with free magnets, is arriving today. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? It's true. I give you a postal marvel with news of the marvel of magnetism in bulk. <laughs> You're right, Walter. Magnetism is marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> Your old job back? Yes. Apparently, the Postatron had a few glitches to iron out. Well, something like that. Still, at least Nash is not around today, so I can deliver the mail in peace. <laughs> He's behind me, isn't he? Yeah. Nash! <laughs> Hello, woofing dog. Congratulations. A new record. Do you have any idea what this will do for Beano Town? No. Neither do I. So, what's next for our champion then? <laughs> Apparently, he has his eye on the record for samples from Mare's underpants. Oh, well. <laughs> no! 